Hi guys, welcome back to Spurred On. I'm Barnaby Slater here with Reese James and Craig Mitch for another 8-bit debate. If you haven't seen one of these before, this is what happens. We have a topic which one of these boys will fight for one of them and one of the boys will fight for the other. And the winner, the first to get to eight points, will be the person who gives the best arguments to me and I will be giving out those points. So here is today's topic. If you could have one of the following players back at Tottenham Hotspur, which would you choose and why? From the players, Gareth Bale or Luka Modric? Today, fighting on behalf of Luka Modric is Rhys James. And fighting on behalf of the Welsh wizard, Gareth Bale, is Craig Mitch. Reigning champ. I am going to... That's correct, actually. Craig Mitch Undeserved. is... Craig Mitch is 1-0 up in the 8-bit debates. I'm going to, therefore, go to the contender first. Rhys James, why would you have Luka Modric back at Spurs over Gareth Bale? Luka Modric has proven that he can succeed at the highest level. One point. He's currently playing for Real Madrid. Well, you already give me the point, but I will, I will now labour the point. Currently playing for Real Madrid. Uh, and behind Ronaldo, he's arguably their best player. Bale, however, is struggling there, right? He was good for us, but under pressure of the biggest club in the world, he's no good. So if we want to compete and be ambitious and compete at the highest level and be one of the best who can eventually win the Champions League, we want players who are ambitious enough and good enough to succeed at that level. Craig Mitch. That point was very curious. Um, I'm going to go in by saying in Modric's first season, he was quoted as the worst Real Madrid signing ever. He had an abysmal first season. Gareth Bale signed, he not only won them the Copa del Rey, he scored the winning goal in the Champions League as well. Forget Marcelo and Ronaldo's silly little goal, it was all about Bale's goal in extra time and he had a very successful first season unlike Modric. Okay, he struggled a bit in the second season, but he still scored two important goals and won them two trophies. Hold on, that's two, po I just, just say that's two points for Mitch, one for calling Reese's point cute and the other for being right, it was an excellent first season I have to say. Modric had a poor season. Personally, I find it's cute to be a compliment. Thank you. Okay. So thank you very much. Yours was crap. Anyway, uh, is that not a point? Because not it point. wasn't crap. But yeah, go on. It was pretty crap. Anyway, uh, Mitch or yeah. Craig, Mr. Two Names, that's got to be a point. Um, yeah, you say, oh, so, point for risk. So what you're saying is, all. so what you're saying is, Bale had a good first season and then got worse, whereas Modric started slow and now is excellent. How could that possibly be good a good point? point? Three, two to Reese. Also, Bale had, didn't have an amazing season. What about his horrible recent misses that he's had when he's under pressure? He's missed open, two Wait, open goals against Villarreal that went this viral. Season? Who's played more games this season, Bale or Modric? Modric hasn't even featured hardly this season. He was injured. Exa exactly. So that's part, down to him being partly a player. He needs to keep his fitness up. What about Bale's injury? Training? Hold on. And the reason he's injured is because... Had loads hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And the reason he's been injured a lot this season is because he turns 30 this year. Bale is turning 26 this year. That's a key reason why I wouldn't have Modric back at our club because he's We're too old now. Three he's two too to Mitch. Old Good now. point. Bale, about? Bale has years. He's not even in his prime yet, and people are criticising him. Watch this season. Watch. Right. What about Hold on. The fact? What's the score? Is it three two or four two? It's, it's, it's not four, four two. two. It's not it's four three two. all. Three all. We think. Three all. For what? I Just... haven't got a pen. What about the fact that Modric? has international experience. And I'm not talking about the fact that he plays for the international team. I'm talking about getting into World Cup finals and the Euros, right? He's played two World Cups and he's been in two Euros. Wales haven't qualified for the World Cup or any major international tournament since 1958. As comedian Ellis James points out, that is prior to the invention of the duvet. What has that got? 4-3 oh, to oh, Reese. 4-3 to Reese. International hold on, hold on. experience. Hold on. Fight it back. Fight it back. Okay, okay. So Bale scored uh, the winning goal for Wales against Belgium, the second ranked most team in the world. Hold on. Which is an individual. Jack Wilson can score a qualifier. Hold, on. Hold, on. hold on. Which is an individual accomplishment. You're talking about Croatia. Well, obviously, they're a better all round team than Wales, for one. Second of all, if we're talking about individual accomplishments, Bale won Young Player of the Year and player of the year in his last season for Spurs, proving that he was absolutely phenomenal for our club. Did Modric win anything like that? That's no. Two, two points there. Did he score winning goals Five. like the last one against West Ham or the last one in the last game of the season versus Sunderland? Bale was single-handedly winning games uh, for us. Two points there, one for one for the uh, individual trophies and one for the fact that he's doing brilliantly at Wales, who are going to qualify for the first tournament ever. Yes. Five-four to Mitch, I believe. Couple of things. 
First of all, oh, Bale scores the last minute goals. What about Modric hitting the post so that Leno could get that tap in against Arsenal? Oh my, you're going to bring up That was like all down one, to Modric's what, shot from 40 yards out, hitting the post. You're if you're bringing up, up your one, if you're bringing up your one, I'm bringing up mine. Bale right. Secondly, Bale five balls, five balls, five balls. Five balls. twice in one season in his last season for us. Secondly, I have a second element to the point. Okay, and that on. is <laughs> that you talk about the idea that Bale can individually, do things individually, yes. individually win games. Yes. Well, Modric, when Modric is in your team, the whole squad improves and the whole squad looks better, right? Bale is a one-man squad. When he played for us, we were a one-man team. He was doing things individually. Modric is pulling strings. He's finding pockets of space no one else finds. Six five. Wait, where's definitely. the point? Where's the point from that? I don't so know. Modric he makes takes the ball. Better. He'll take, he'll he'll take the ball in any difficult situation. He used to take the ball straight in front of the back four. Anytime I, I'm fighting for Reese here, but it's true. Luca was the best ball player we had since Michael Carrick, yeah. and he was even better than Michael Carrick. Okay, so six five better. Right, 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 right. Okay, so let's go back to <laughs> Gareth Bale. Not only did Gareth Bale play three positions for us, he played left back, left so wing. So did Hold on, and had a free role in the centre. Modric just played in the centre of the park. No, he didn't. All he had to do was carefully make passes while Bale was taking games by the scruff of the neck and creating beautiful moments that we all here cherish right. forever. Okay, Craig, hold Gareth on. Bale. I have to say uh, that six all. Craig's made a good point because. Uh, uh, Bale did play in those positions, and actually Modric, before Redknapp arrived, was played as uh, AMC just behind in the pocket, behind the front man, and he wasn't doing well, and then Harry came in and said, uh, you know, you've got to play just in front of the back four and, and pull the strings. Exactly. Another back. reason Harry Redknapp should have been fired. So Another reason. Hang on. Six that's all, that's a different argument. Six Bale was all. playing left back and then got moved to left mid where he got good, so it's exactly the same. So all right, anyway, point? all right, so I've got, anyway, let me carry on. I have You're saying point. he played three positions. Hang on, so, wait, let me hold on. No, no, hold on. So since Bale left, okay, that 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 position, on the wing has still not been fulfilled. We bought Lamella, he hasn't lived up to it. Since Modric left, Mason's done a phenomenal job since he stepped in. Okay? Unbelievable! The he hypocrisy he from did. this guy! Mason has I done, cannot believe this! Mason has done what he had to do. We are okay in the midfield oh, right Pauline, now. Hold on. I love you, Pauline. Hold on, 7-6 seven, seven, to Reese because of the fickle nature of Craig and oh, 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 Always a value. Always anti-Ryan Mason is suddenly strange. trying to use it value. for Wait, his own benefit. That is off camera. How dare you bring things off camera Reese, you're not match point. Point, mate, Reese, match point, 7-6. Why should Luka Modric be back at Spurs rather than Gareth Bale? No one is going to Can I ask you this. a question, Craig or Mitch? Okay, go on. Uh, do you think you know more about football than Spanish footballing legend Raul? Raul? Because Raul said that the key to Real Madrid's success is not Bale, nor Ronaldo, but is Modric. He described him as the leader of the orchestra. Which, what Modric does is he finds pockets of space before anyone else. And that, all right, us, all right, be great. Wait, I it. am not finished, okay? okay? Well, it's my turn to get a word in edgeways, Sorry, finally. God. God damn it, but we've through all your hypocrisy. Uh, what Modric does, right, is he finds yeah. the pockets of space no one else does before anyone else does, right, which is perfect for us because we often play against teams who put 10 men behind the ball but we can't find any space so we just pass it along the line with Dembele all the time. If we had Modric back, he'd be finding the pockets of space and we'd be scoring more goals. Right, before okay, you, before you throw that Harry Craig, Craig, Mitch, Craig Mitch has got to, he's got his chance to fight against that. It seems a valid point, but let's see what Craig has right, to say. I'm going to throw one out there, okay? All right, Modric, he was phenomenal for Spurs, but then... <laughs> But then, Thank you. but then, <laughs> but then, when he cut his hair, the beautiful hair that resembled Barnaby's luscious locks right Ooh. here, he Ooh. lost all of his power. Absolute the power cynic. was in the hair. Absolutely Everyone knows pathetic. that. The hair got cut. Excellent he wasn't even he wasn't even recognizable. I, I couldn't even know who he was. If it wasn't for his big nose, I wouldn't even know it was Modric. He's been I'm injured ever since. Off, mate. He's been injured ever since, and we haven't seen anything of him. Okay, guys, I have to say. It's over. As much as Craig Mitch just tried to canvas for votes with me Sad. by telling me about my Tragic. lovely hair that uh, the Woolwich fans have been slagging off, by the way. Uh, I have it. to say that so. <laughs> going on his aesthetics is not going to win your point in a football argument, Craig Mitch. So therefore, with a score 8-6, Reese James wins. Winner, Reese James. Yes. With Luka oh. Modric. Is the player that Spurs should One have back late equaliser. Oh, football instead players. Of Gareth All he Bale. did was diss my multiple names, which I like. Guys, <laughs> let us know what you thought about the debate in the comments section below. Was Reese right to win, or did Craig have a point, or was he just banging on about being a model all the time like he usually does? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel model. and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV, and we'll see you next week for another 8 bit debate. How's it going guys? It's Craig Mitch here joined by Reese James and welcome to another episode of Spurverts. You know the show where we talk about everything that has us absolutely excited.